welcome back to another vlog. I know it's been a while. We're in New York for Beyonce. I'm so excited. It's gonna be like a quick vlog. We're only here for two days, Saturday and Sunday. We leave Monday, we just got here. Um, but it's gonna be lots of fun. So I figured it'd be like enough to have a really good vlog. Um, we have like some work to do, but obviously it's gonna be lots of fun too. Um, Evan is here, my friend, um, and his friend Lakia, who's also my friend through him. Um, and then Josh, this, this is our concert crew. We went to the last Beyonce concert together. So we're here to go to this Beyonce concert and we go to day two. So we go tomorrow on Sunday. So today we're just gonna shop and then me and Josh have some work to do. So I'll like show you that too, because I'm gonna really try to like integrate the work we have to do into just like what we wanna do if that makes sense. Um, we're doing a reel for Pandora. And what I love about working with Pandora, so I work with them all year. And each month they kind of tell me like what the priority product is. You know, one, one month is diamonds, one month is charms, one month, you know, sometimes I have new things. Uh, but they let me create whatever type of content I want. So I always have this idea of like um, a reel, but almost like a little short film. I'm calling it Summer in the City with Pandora. Um, and just like getting shots of me in different places in the city, doing different activities, shopping, eating, um, and showing off the, the jewelry, but also just like my outfits, but also like really cool city shots. So that's what we're gonna make while we're here. Um, so we're gonna start today. We're gonna go like shopping and go to Bergdorf's, but I'm gonna wear the jewelry and Josh will take the camera and we'll get some shots. And then tomorrow we'll finish it like in the morning. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna change and put on a little makeup since we're making content. Um, I'll pop in my airport outfit. Absolutely obsessed with this wardrobe NYC blazer. Um, it's very similar to a Balenciaga blazer, but you know, you know. Um, and uh, some old Zara shorts, the Leweve tank <laughs> that we talked about. And then these really cute little flats. They are Mew Mew Dupe from Mango. So that's the fit. Let's do a room tour. And then we'll change it. So there's like a little hallway. It's our luggage. And then this is the living room, um, which is pretty standard. This is what our living room normally looks like. Um, little seating area, a little couch. There's Josh. Um, but the, typically, we don't have this type of hallway. Typically, the like bedroom is right across from the couch. So this is, sorry about the lighting, but the closet. And then this is the bedroom. And I just love it here. I really love it here mainly for the customer service. Um, they just, it's 10 out of 10. Really great views um, from every room also. And then the typical bathroom that they always have. And just like, oh, the vibes are amazing. Nice big shower. And I love when they give me this little makeup vanity. It also lights up. So, that's a room tour. Um, oh, here's a better look at my outfit. finished with the content now we're in Bergdorf's I'm not looking for anything but I'm also looking for everything so we'll see what we find keeping the game together there you go plus look here and doing like personal time out of Denmark, Denmark. and go to Switzerland yeah oh my god I should totally do that would be good for fashion week too because they they're like comfortable, comfortable. i'm really good. trying to like if it ain't comfortable i can't do it <laughs> a mouse well, well, she did so good yeah. I, was like, I do yeah so that's a different vibe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. so i'm the truth and the kids taking the responsibility right. so i'm telling her she's been kidnapped so i'm calling her and texting her she's not responding so i start to get bored so i order food and then i eat Hi. 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 Hi.
Okay, okay. Do you have a problem? It's a very like niche luxury fragrance because that's not good. Yes. Indian. So the man you're gonna get Indian sandalwood, she's pretty vanilla, carrot seed, she's jasmine, and musk. This is the man. A lot of our women clients like you one of the man it. too. I need my nose get break. Here have a bit of a Okay, so I'm not gonna try to act like I do not follow you on Instagram because I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, it's such a pleasure meeting you, oh, Queen. Yeah, moving on to the more gourmand scents <laughs> that all have, I know, right? That all have the edible ingredients. So you're gonna have magnolia, vanilla, oh, and cotton bottle. candy. Mm -hmm. You said vanilla? Mm -hmm. I love cotton vanilla. candy. Mm. Mm. It's a very gourmand fragrance. I like gourmand. Mm -hmm. mm. Especially mm. for this time. Wow, I didn't hear mm. that for anything. Gourmand. <laughs> mm. I just wanted something different. I've never smelled anything like this. Okay, we love niche, right? Okay. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay, we're playing chess here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Getting closer. <laughs> Another one. Now you can see why they're all top songs. Like so all in the UFA, the eau de toilette and the eau de parfums. We're, we're featuring in Harper's Bazaar this month, too. Mm. So which one is this? The toilet? This or the... is the eau de toilette. Yes. Yeah. That's nice. It's cool, like. Yeah. But it's supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. It's all the toilet, so it's like less that. concentrated. Does this have like orange or something? It does have a little orange blossom. Oh my god, mm -hmm. I'm like so yeah. <laughs> you know I'm really not. I'm terrible at it. Right. <laughs> Which one is this? Yeah. This is this one. Okay. Okay. Let me see the glass. This is our feature in Harper's Bazaar, our newest one called Emphasis. So this is inspired by air, so everything's going to be super clean. But this has a lot of depth to it. This is the first fragrance that we have our special Lueve Accord. So it's a string of ingredients that are only trademarked by Lueve. You cannot find them in any other fragrances but ours. So you're going to get pear, rhubarb, sandalwood, amber. <laughs> By Madrid. What do you think? This one is still. That's her. That's these, still the top contender. Yeah. These two. And then these two. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Top two. Mm -hmm. Top two. Um. Second top two. <laughs> All right. Hmm. It just sounds like the first song. It's really beautiful. So what's, what's special about those? So this is special because of the concentration. So this mm -hmm. has the highest concentration in our oh, fragrance. Yeah, right. Twenty-five oh, percent. Like oh, pow! Oh, Leave a trail. This is definitely when you're walking by, people do stop you and ask you. you what like, people saying? never stop me. <laughs> you sure? I mean, okay, for my fragrance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, they're gonna start stopping you for your fragrance, definitely. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you our time. See me, okay. Little update, we went shopping. Um, had so much fun. I always shop with Jerry at Burgos. Um, support a black woman. So if you are in the New York area, shop with her. Um, and I got two pair of shoes. Um, some cake boots that were fire. I've never seen them before and they'll just be perfect all winter. I'm not shopping any more summer stuff. And then I actually got some Chanel shoes. But no bags, but I got some Chanel shoes. And then fragrances. We had so much fun at the fragrance section. Shout out to, I didn't get her name, um, but the sales associate um, at the Louis Vuitton counter. She was so helpful. She said she followed me. We had such a good time. That was like so fun. She let us try all the like top ones and they were all so unique and so amazing. I got Louis Vuitton Earth, 10 out of 10. I got another one. I'll pop it up because I can't think of it. Oh, we're doing a boxing tomorrow. Um, but that was so fun. And um, Evan got a fragrance too. Um, he actually got the fragrance I bought in LA, um, the Clive Christensen Queen Anne, I think. So yeah, we just came back. We're going to dinner at 7.30. Evan makes all the reservations and he's he's just such a good travel partner. <laughs> um, so we're going to dinner, I think it's just around the corner. So I just put back on my shorts and my tank top and my blazer and then I just put on some heels. So that's the look. 
um and then we'll just hang out for the rest of the night and then tomorrow we're gonna get up finish our reel for pandora i'll show you that and then we're going to brunch at like 12 and then we're gonna try to like go to a few more shops but i need plenty of time to get ready for beyonce so hopefully we're back here by like 2 30 or 3 because our car's picking up picking us up at 5 30. that's the update they just went to get some red bulls <laughs> And I'll see you later. For dinner. I forgot the camera because it was charging. So sorry, but I pop in where we went. It wasn't that great. I don't recommend, but it was cute. They had good drinks. My food was tasty. Josh didn't like his food or his drink. Um, and we got the same thing I got. He liked his food and his drink, but not some place any of us need to go back to anywho the night's over it's only 9 43 my night's over <laughs> evan's going out to frolic with his other princess to go home right um we're gonna do some skincare because it's been a while and i feel like i haven't updated the vlog in a long time on what i use now and i really have some like holy grails um that have really made a huge difference in my skin so i wanted to share them First up, something I had to start doing um, to really improve my skin is double slash triple cleansing, which I never used to do because I have dry skin and I just thought like, oh, I don't want to like dry my skin out too much. But especially when I'm wearing makeup and like thicker foundations, I just got to make sure it's all gone. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this oil cleanser. This is my favorite. There's a lot of oil cleansers. Um, I've tried a lot of them and I always go back to this one. It's by Bobbi Brown. It's the Soothing Cleansing Oil and I like that it has a pump so it doesn't get too messy. I can just pump it into my hands. And I like the texture. It's like slick and slippery and it doesn't feel too thick, which I don't like. I use the Clinique. I really like it. It's for dry combination. I'm dry. I go in with at night. I've shared this before, this La Roche Pose. Um, this is an acne treatment and I only put it where I need it and typically only when I'm treating something. Um, so like the last two nights I've been treating, I have like two little dots here and like a dot over here. They're pretty much gone, but I'm just going to do it like one more night. And then after tonight, I'll probably like give it a little break because I do have dry skin. So I don't like to use it just like every night forever and ever. And I also don't want it to like lose its effectiveness. So. Just gonna, and I only literally use like a little dot. And then I usually put just a little here because I'm just prone to getting bumps there. And I'm gonna let that dry. Um, my favorite is the Tata lip mask, especially for overnight. <laughs> Last all night. Okay. Mm, and then I also have been using this Epionce Brightening night treatment and i only put this where i need it as well so i put it mainly around my mouth but i feel like this has been helping these two products the other one helps with my texture of my skin which i feel like i've seen a huge difference and this i feel like my skin is noticeably more even toned because this is where it used to be really uneven and i got this from my esthetician but i'm pretty sure you can get it like anywhere if you have dry skin I cannot recommend this specifically enough. This is the Guerlain Abiel Royale Youth Watery Oil. These two products, I use this day and night, and then this is the um, Renew and Repair Advanced Serum, which I also feel like helps with the texture as well. My skin has never been better <laughs> with this combination. Um, I use this one first and then this one on top. And when I go to sleep and wake up in the morning, my skin literally is still shining, but it also feels plump and hydrated. That has never happened. Usually my skin looks nice when I put stuff on and it looks hydrated. And when I wake up, it's like the Sahara Desert. And it's like, oh, time for some morning skincare because we need it, we're dry. With this, I wake up and I just look radiant. Good morning, signs. Um, My camera died last night, but I showed you the skincare uh, for the most part and I'll link everything below. Um, I got up, did a quick beat. We're gonna go um, start the second part of our Pandora reel. So um, I'm wearing this necklace and we're just gonna go to Starbucks, get a coffee again, just get like city shots of me walking around, get vibes, summer in the city. 
Um, and then we have brunch at 12 30 at 11. So we have like an hour to shoot. And then I'm going to change and then we're also going to shoot the last little part of the reel while we're out brunch just because it's a different neighborhood so it'll give a different vibe. Um, yeah and then the concert's tonight. That'll be like the end of our work. Um, but again, I want to get ready like super early. So I'm going to do my, I'm going to take this makeup off and then we'll do makeup for tonight because I've been using a lot of new products and I want to have like a super, super beat and I want to take pictures of my outfit and do some TikToks and I need lots of time. So right now I just have on my favorite Jocelyn's top and this little dish um, skirt. I love dish. I've, they got me with the ads on TikTok, but quality is amazing if you're wondering. So let's get to going. Right, we just got back from shooting and I just changed my clothes. Um, I'll pop in some clips that we got. Well, I'll show you the finished reel also when we finish it. <laughs> these pieces before my favorite top from shop bop my linus my favorite <laughs> skirt and my Mew Mew boots uh they come back and then i'm gonna wear this all deep look goodie and then these sunglasses oh, easy and then this is the last necklace i'm sharing so this is the new horoscope or zodiac collection and then i'm just showing the different chains basically this shirt is actually so cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, it it is lighter than it looks. In terms of like buying or yeah, because my thing is like I don't want the responsibility that comes with buying. Like I get it, but like it's a lot, and I don't I don't want to do. It. <laughs> she just stay your ass in that apartment. <laughs> I, I mean, Josh loves it. having a house or having you like, like the responsibility of like. I mean, but the he's a responsibility sucks, person. but I don't know. Just being your own and like yeah, where homes are placed, I think it's just kind of nice. And we made a lot of money on ours too. So. Right, that's good. But right now the market is like, the, the interest rates are crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like now is not attractive time for a buyer. <laughs> like please. That lobster mac and cheese looks perfect. It looks like the perfect size. Ew. Oh, sorry. Oh, right, we had a technical difficulty, so it took me a little longer than I anticipated, um, but we got there. My eye makeup, I had to like wipe half of it off, fix it, so I was stressed, so I, I had to stop filming <laughs> my makeup. 
but let me show you your outfit because we're about to head out and i'll take like um vlog footage on my phone so i'll put some clips in here so our choker my outfit is from alex perry it's a lot of boobs i usually don't do a mini skirt and like my boobs out but it's renaissance so let me go to the mirror and i'm not taking it back because i don't want to be bothered um alex perry top i actually had this in my my Teresa wish list and i just waited for it to go on sale i was gonna get it for fashion week and just wear it with a blazer on the top which now i still will and then my jimmy choo boots that i've had since last fashion week <laughs> that i never got around to wearing and they're just perfect with this outfit i feel like a disco ball i feel so cute and so fun this is just more than i would typically do but i feel like it's perfect for renaissance we're waiting on our friends to get over here and our car's already downstairs i'm so excited okay i'll give you a recap when we get back okay bye i'm sure i'll look disheveled this is the fit. We're headed to see Beyonce. I went for gold. This is an Alex Perry skirt and top and Jimmy Choo boots. Um, Zara choker. Get back here, Loki. Oh, oh. All right, yeah, everybody's in there.
Good morning. I feel how I look. I need to give a little update. We're packing. I'm packing up my makeup right now. Um, we have to leave the airport in like 30 minutes. The concert was amazing. I know you already know that, but I figured I'd just give it a little stamp of approval. Um, it was amazing. I feel like it was like going to see Michael Jackson. It was overwhelmingly amazing. Every part. There's no breaks. There's no, I can go to the bathroom and miss this part. Everything is so good. Um, the visuals. The, the, the dancing. We had all new costumes tonight. It was so good. I highly recommend it. I will say there are a lot of obstructed views at that concert um that i always try to do my due diligence with concerts um and like really check like what the seat looks like what's the you know but i would i would really do a lot of research and double triple check what your seat looks like because unlike most shows that i've seen they have sections for the celebrities two of them that are up on these risers but they block the section 100 views in certain spots which is crazy to me because those are like some of the most expensive seats because you're basically like right up from the floor like we were the first row from the floor which was amazing but if we had been over a little more we would have been right behind this big platform with celebrities standing on it and then you can't see the stage you're just looking at the screens you could be up in nosebleeds looking at the screen so i would double check that um there was really no we got there early so there wasn't any really traffic issues obviously it was a nightmare to leave A little more awake little haul um i got two fragrances i got madrid and earth it's a shoes which i had been looking at i've had these shoes before but when i first got them i was just so thirsty to have them that i got them in like a half size too small and they hurt so fucking bad i literally have had, had them for like five years and just sold them <laughs> Because they were like, like a seasonal. They were lace, basically, so like you couldn't get them again. But I finally sold them when I saw these. I was like, that's a great replacement. But you didn't really wear the last ones, but you didn't wear the last ones because they were so uncomfortable. So I got these in a half size up. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have more luck. Hopefully we'll have more luck. This, this them. Um, and they just have can see okay there we go they just have the crystals on them you know i love sparkly shit um and i'm really trying to just get more fun but comfortable shoes fashion mom i just need it um especially for like daytime things when it's like you're not necessarily going to a fashion show but you still need to look really nice because you're meeting a brand for the first time or you're still gonna run into people or whatever um and i feel like these would look so nice with like some you know like nice jeans or like leather pants like cropped right at the ankle and these and a blazer instead of just flats like i need something five three and a half i need something so that's the trip i hope you had a good time with me i had a great time and i'll see ya i'll probably see you in copenhagen bye